Hey, Tim Schatz here again with C4D Training. Today I just have a quick little tutorial for you on using the multi-shader to randomly color your objects in a cloner. Here I have some phones or, or some, you know, kind of electronic device. And if I render them now, they're all kind of grayish color, nothing terribly interesting. So I want to apply a different color maybe to each one. I'm going to create a new material. And under my color tab here, I'm going to go ahead and call this actually multi while I'm here so I know which one that is. And under my color tab, under the texture, I'm going to pull out and I'm going to come down to MoGraph and come down to Multi Shader. And now I get this little white box here and it says Multi Shader. So if I click on the white box, it brings me actually into the Multi Shader. And so notice I have two shaders here already. I have an Add button, a Subtract button, and a Clear button. So for my first shader, I'm going to go ahead and load in a color shader. And if I click on that, I can pick a color. So let's just pick red. And I use these little arrows up here to navigate. So I'm going to go back up, go to my second shader, add another color, come in here, go back up. And I have five phones, so I'm going to go ahead and add five colors. So add another one, come down to color. Let's maybe do a green, go back up, add a fourth one, down to color. About yellow. Back up one more time and we'll add another one here. And for the fifth one, again, I'm gonna add my color. Click on the swatch, come in here. And I don't know, let's do maybe a purple. Maybe a little bit darker purple. There we go. So now when I come up here, this is my multi shader. I have my five colors. And notice this mode here. Right now it's set to color brightness. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I want to go ahead and apply this to the body. So here I have a bool that I've named body and inside it I have my body and then the cutout which removes kind of the area for the screen. So I want to go ahead and apply it to the entire thing so that where it's cut out and everything will have the color. So I go ahead and grab my multi shader and I drop it on the body. And if I go ahead and I render this, they all are green. So if we double click on the multi shader and I come in here, it's just kind of randomly picking one. It's picking the middle one. If I took shader four and if I change the color, so let's let's change this one to green. Change this one to green and I hit OK and I go back up and then I take my green one and I change that to be the yellow color. And now if I render this, they're all yellow. So it's kind of picking that middle one as the representative color. And that's not really what we want. We want a different color on each phone. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and select our cloner. So phone clones here. And here I am on the effectors tab. And I'm going to go ahead and add a random effector. And when I select my random effector and I come down here, notice my phone's kind of moved. And that's because by default, the random effector moves everything 50 meters on every axis of its position. So I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it affecting position scale or rotation. And here where it says color mode, I need to turn that on. And now if I come up here and I render, I get sort of a random assortment of colors. And that has to do with our random effector. So if I come back here to my random effector, and I go to the Effector tab, my Random Mode is set to Random. Well, Random is relatively random. Um, if I come, if I change my seed, and I render this again, the distribution is going to be different each time. So I'm going to come down here, and let's put in like 14,000 or something, and render this. The distribution is different again. But we always seem to get two of some color and it's not an, a, a, an even distribution is which is what we want 
So I'm going to come down here and select Sorted. Now Sorted is actually a new selection in 11.5 and it's kind of really nice. So I've selected Sorted and I render and now I have a different color on each object. So here in the editor window they all show up as a single color but in order to make sure that they are being assigned the right colors you just do a quick render on it. Now imagine you had a bunch of photos or something like that, kind of like those uh, Hewlett Packard commercials where all the photos are kind of floating around. You could use this where you could assign a photo to the multi shader, go in and have you know a bunch of different shaders in there, and each one having a photograph, and then you could apply it to you know planes or whatever. And by using the random effector, you could randomize their assignments. You could use the sorted and make sure that you get one of each photo, but if you have, say, you know, a hundred photos, but you have a thousand planes and you just want to make sure everything has a picture, you could use one of the other modes. There's random Gaussian noise and turbulence, so those are the ones that come prior to 11.5. Okay, so I want to show you quickly another way to get different color on your different phones. So right now I have my phone in my cloner, and if I render this off, I just get my gray phones because there's no texture applied to them. But I want to have my five phones, and I want them to each have a different color. So kind of a cheater way to do this is if I go ahead on this phone and I add my color to the body, so now they all have that color, right? Well, I can take this and I can control drag and create another phone that I drop into my clone and do it again and do it again and do it again. So now I have five phones. Now all I have to do is open the second phone and replace that color. Open the third phone and replace the color. The fourth phone, etc. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and do this. And my last phone here, I'm going to change and make purple. And so now if I go ahead and I render this, there are my phones exactly the way I wanted them. I had them set up in my cloner, and they each have a different color. So if I go to my cloner and come down here, you have to make sure that clones is set to iterate. If it's set to cluster, you could end up with phones all the same color. If you set it to random, you're going to, again, kind of get groupings, and you can kind of change that by changing the seed here and so we're getting kind of different colors but we're still getting two of the purple and you can do blend which works okay to make sure that you get the one of each color for sure you want to just make sure it says iterate and what that's going to do is it's going to go through each one and create one of each so if I increase my clones to say six and I render this I'll now get the next one would be purple. And if I do it to seven, the next one is this kind of orangey brown color. So that's just kind of a cheater way to assign different colors to your clones. You have all these different clones in here, but if you're working in version 10 or 10.5 or 11 and you don't have the sort option for your random effector, then this is kind of a way to get around that. Like I said, kind of a cheater way, but hey, it works. Well, I hope you found that helpful. I'm Tim Schetz, C4D Training. Thanks for watching.